aging face that this world has forgotten. All right, what is up, you guys? And well, sorry for all the movement right now because I thought the uh, stream would be mm, not going so fast. Anyway, welcome to, of course, our first Valor Pokemon League battle. Uh, versus actually the Chicago Ursurings or Greg or Slow Formula or Speedy Formula. I don't know how I want to tackle that. Uh, we are going to have this battle a bit more stressful than I actually wanted to. We're just going to record this live. I haven't necessarily prepared as much as I wanted to. But we're going to face Greg in a very interesting battle actually because um, this battle itself are. Uh, I have a lot of planning going on to this, but I just inherently think my matchup is inferior to what his team is, it is basically. So we're going to try to tackle it in the best way we can. So my team is as follows. Um, let's see, a special defensive uh, Venusaur, um, a never melting ice Cryogonal, Rock MC, right, Perior, uh, Left Door Sister with Swanson as U turn. Uh, comma with close combat over uh, flamethrower and uh, guard war scarf set with healing wish. Um, the reason I said comma is not flamethrower is because we're facing a team that will most likely carry a skarmoring into it. So I'm being really scared of that. And um, yeah, just overall, it's going to be exciting. Um, plus, I'm kind of rusty. I haven't played a Wi Fi battle in. Um, Three weeks, I believe, so it's always exciting. Um, even more so when it comes to uh, uh, actual potential league battles. So, this is cool. Uh, we see a team which I roughly thought we would see. Um, it's going to be definitely, like I said, interesting. We see Ladias. We don't see his Mega Pokemon, which I feel is interesting. Uh, we see Ladias Superior, Flodius, um, Skarmory Superior. And Gengar and Avipom. Avipom, surprisingly, that made it. Um, another Pokemon I think was unfortunate that didn't make it was actually. Um, I'm just gonna write this Pokemon their name down. Another Pokemon I think was, was surprising, so don't see a Milk Tank. Uh, consider the matchup itself, but I think we should do alright. Um, I think I should be able to set up versus Avipom with my right period. Uh, and sisters seem to be unhindered once uh, Skarmory is gone, so that's always going to be a thing to watch out for. Um, I don't know how the Flodis will function, uh, though, considering the team structure, I can definitely see him going fully offensive towards me. Um, I'm going to lead off with Krogonal, actually, because I do believe overall it serves the overall better presence here. Um, can do super effective damage towards the whole team, actually, or at least neutral. It does not have anything resisting it, so I think that's a very strong perk. Uh, and if Avipom is his switch in there, I shouldn't be all too worried, though it's going to be an aspect of that Wi-Fi bell itself. Uh, I also realize that my board I'm, or table I'm at is kind of small, kind of trying to see where I can put my pen and paper. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to leave off fast mode Krogonal. And we're going to see Cage. Alright, Gengar. Um, Gengar can't kill me from full, I know that. So I'm not too worried as... Uh, I'm going to go directly for free stride. That was supposed to be Ice Beam, so um, a wrong edit on my side, I should be able to do some fair damage. Uh, kind of hope it switches out, actually. Um, I wonder what he felt I was going to lead with. Let's see if we can move around a few stuff here. Mm, without it sounds too much. But yeah. Too bad I missed out on Ice Beam. Well, like last second editing, as you know, it's my fault. <laughs> so yeah, he stays in, goes for Sludge Wave. So that's a good thing, and that should do a decent chunk, uh, which it does. Uh, I feel that it's a bit too much, actually. Definitely feels like this could be... Uh, uh, this could definitely be Specs, is my initial feeling. So I'm gonna switch out to um, my... Um, what do you call it? Uh, my scissor. Like I said, I feel this is Specs, so it feels like an easy switching for me. 
Um, since I did over 100, I mean, that's a lot actually, considered a given circumstance. Um, so, one good thing, I guess, is that we can outspeed it next time. That's always going to be an individual strength, if anything. Um, it sure takes a lot of time to make his call. I'm definitely feeling that I have the potential of switching out. Uh, I can always recover towards the likes of uh, Scarberry. Um, also, can probably go for recover towards. Even I should say the um, that without ice being able to uh, against Florius. So Skarmory Florius are good switchings to recover against. Though at the time being, I'm definitely going to be KO'd by um, <laughs> other mods. So yeah, he switches out. I get that. Uh, goes to Nasser, which is uh, the Skarmory. As um, I'm actually gonna go for a U-turn here. Since Stealth Frog is gonna come up, and they are never good. Um, and we're not gonna do any damage here, it's 4 times resistance and whatnot, so that's going to be as good as it gets. But at least I get my recovery. And we do have speed in here, which was something I had in mind. Uh, as as it lacks a spin blocker, I could potentially go freely for. If we also go for. Oh, it goes for Stealth Rock directly. I could go recover first. I think that's the most important play I can do. Because um, I do believe we want to keep his sturdy intact and, uh, and I actually want to keep as much of my health possible as high as I can. Uh, he's not going to Brave Bird here because I can spin. Uh, so I'm going to go for recover since Gengar is a potential spin blocker. Uh, if he goes for Brave Bird, that just means he will down his sturdy. Uh, so that's not a big deal for me. Um, this Pokemon individual Skarmory is probably the one I have the hardest time punching through. Uh, he does decide to stay in. So I get myself recovered, which is going to be great. Uh, we're going to see Drill Pack. I wonder. He doesn't do too much towards me. Um, glad we got that out of the way. Uh, I'm going to proceed to go for Rapid Spin. Because I can, basically. Um, I think it feels that he can't maneuver around this Pokemon. Like I said, Gengar is a switch in here. He always can pull against me. And Freeze Strike will do a good chunk to this Pokemon also. So, I think we're still in the clear. I don't think he likes the idea of sacking Gengar. If it forces it in and I go for a Freeze Strike over Rapid Spin. Hmm. I'm actually kind of excited. I won't deny that. I, I was expecting Steel Wing, but if so, then I would have had a lot stronger matchup towards the opponent itself. Uh, I expect this Pokemon to actually have Whirlwind. Uh, Whirlwind is seen. Uh, I should write it down actually. Stealth Rock Drill Pack, so not Brave Bird, which is good. Because that means he's not as threatening towards Como. Uh, let's see, Stealth Rocks. He, do, he, he sure as hell take his sweet time, right? He decides to stay in here, as um, we get the rocks out of the field, and we see Whirlwind. All right, so we were not that whittled down. Give me something good here. Give me something good. Ogre Zax. Maybe not my strongest switching. Maybe not my strongest switching. So with Whirlwind. I'm gonna go for Phasma again. I expect him to. Um, I expect him to go to Stealth Rocks again. I think that's his strongest play. Um, there we go. So I will always get. Um, I will always wrap his spin towards this Pokemon. I think he kind of gets that. So with that in mind, I'm actually gonna go directly for a Freeze Try this time around instead. Because I expect him to switch out to block my spin. And if he does stay in, I will do a good chunk of damage here. Barring, of course, if Flordius comes in, but I do believe I can spin on the Flordius um, unhindered. And whether or not I want to actually check if the Flordius outspeeds me, that's always an aspect I have to watch out for. However, 
Um, yeah, he just does a set of to switch out here to JJD. That is the Ambipom, which will get a good chunk of damage onto it. I like that. That's going to be helpful. Uh, over 50%, so that's... Yeah, like I said, that's definitely helpful. Um, I expect a fake out play here. Um, either that go directly for a fire punch, which makes this switch really dumb. I didn't think about that. Don't go for fire punch. Go for knockoff, please. Did actually switch to scissor. Didn't think about that for a second. That he course out speeds. Ooh, that was dumb. That was really, really, really dumb. I knew Rhyperia was a switch in here. Though hopefully he thinks about that too. <laughs> All right, if not, you know, jokes on me here for not thinking that play through. Um, oh god, I'm nervous. Ah, knockoff, nice. Nice. And his life for all right. So... I think we go for a bullet punch here, even though... Even though Skarmory is super, super, like, it's definitely the play to make, um, no doubt. But I really can't go about this any other way, as I shouldn't do anything. And we lost Leftover, so inherently he could think that we are Defog. <sighs> but since we know about speed, the thing we're going to do now is actually Roost, as I expect him to go for a Whirlwind at best. That should be his play no matter what. Um, or we're gonna have some hidden power fire possibly, no whirlwind, alright, so we get a free possible switch in here as we will see Deso Troya comes in hmm I think I go for stone it just to break the possible sturdy. Um, I actually have sword stands and rock polish, but uh, I think it's kind of risky uh, to go for sword stands already. And um, none of his switching really do like to switch into a possible stone edge. So that's a really, really strong strength that this Troy I do have. Hmm. That is, of course, I like, connected. That is so right. He does switch out to Guardian. That is Flordius. So that's interesting. Uh, we do connect the Stone Edge, and it does really, 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 really a lot. Um. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Um. Ogre Sags is my switch in. Um, no matter what happens here, it's going to be my best switch in. And uh, I'm going to proceed to go for a knockoff with my Venusaur. Uh, catching the. <laughs> what do you call it? Catching the Skarmory on a switch in. Uh, if I break it sturdy, I should be able to inherently do a lot of damage. I expect this Pokemon to go for either for Psychic, Hina Power Fire, or best case scenario, actually for a Moonblast. Uh, but Giga Drain or Energy Ball is an aspect I have to watch out for as uh, he goes for Grass Knot. So that works. That actually do work quite well, as um, he shouldn't like being in here. So it's Grass Knot, and we know already that no matter what happens, Flodius is a leftovers. Um, so yeah, it's time to Mega Evolve and go for that elusive knockoff. I think Serpira could be a potential switch in too. But the way I look at it, um, he lose a whole lot actually by switching into Skarmory, even though it is a fairly safe switching towards a Sludge Bomb. If he goes to Gengar trying to gain momentum, he's going to lose that Pokemon. So I think we are in the clear. Um, his Megaladias is also a Pokemon that could come in. As we see Nasser, that's good. 
as really good as uh, we get the lift out of the way. That's going to be very, very helpful towards us. I'm not really going to take that away. <sighs> Let's see. Yeah, that's the left door's gone, and uh, I think we can easily proceed now to go over and hit him power fire. Because, oh sorry, because we've already seen that uh, his strongest move is drill pack and not, um, uh, what do you call it? It's drill pack and not the other thing. Um, he does decide to switch out, fair enough, as we see Arosis. Uh, that's Saladias, very good player for my opponent. Actually, and that doesn't do anything. All right, so we know this is the Mega Pokemon. So my easiest switch in here is to go to my Elisa and just go for the easiest. I mean, this is an easy switch in because he can't do super effective damage towards me, and we will be able to outspeed him no matter what he decides to do, even though it could be carrying Calm Mind. Um, Trace Levitate is always good, as um, <laughs> I'm actually kind of nervous. Um, I don't know what set is going to be, or if you're going to be a defensive variant with Thunder Wave, uh, Reflect type. Ah, cool. That defensively do work, though. Because that means that Scissor does super effective damage towards this Pokemon. So, I'm, I'm not too scared as I easily go for that Moonblast directly. Uh, I think he should switch into his Skarmory as fast as he can. Because uh, this will still do damage. Alright, he's recovering this up. We saw Recover. Recover Reflect Type. I think he's deciding whether or not he can um, stall this out. I gotta go for another Moonblast. Um, basically, I'm banking on that special attack decrease on it. Uh, I think that is my overall best play. As uh, somewhere down the line here, I kind of hope to see that he is a store power set. And, and if so, I should be able to maneuver with uh, Scissor fair enough. As we see Hidden Power. And that's going to be Hidden Power Fire, I'm sure. Um, I don't believe he is in an aspect here when he came over against this Pokemon at all, since eventually uh, we will get a special attack decrease. My best guess here that... Yeah, there we go. So, inherently it's getting worse and worse versus me. And I think that's a good thing. I have no reason being scared there, do I? And definitely not at minus one. Definitely not at minus one. I think we should be. We should be good. Hmm. He's definitely going to carry Psychic. Yeah, I'm going to Scissor. I think he should go for, um, for Roost again. I think that is his best play. Um, he could go for Inner Fire of Fire again. And he actually does decide to hard switch out to Nasser right. So that's good. Um, I think I need to U-turn. Um, like Whirlwind probably is his overall better play, but U-turn is definitely what I have to do. I need to pivot around this individual Pokemon. And if anything, I think um, it would be weird for him to go for anything else besides um, Whirlwind. So I'm gonna switch in Desotroya in case he decides to go for a Ruse, but as stated, Whirlwind is his play. Um, and he's gonna get that Pivot directly. Uh, really hope I had Magic Bounce or anything like that. That would have been nice. As we go to see Ogre Sacks comes in. And yeah, thing is here, I gained enough, or I don't have to worry about anything 
necessarily. Um, I could go for Hidden Power Fire again, or I could go directly for a strong Sludge Bomb. Um, he can recover versus me, I think he can do that fine. Uh, I'm still going to open up our fire, because I think it's the best play for me to make. Uh, I expect Eladia's last... Um, uh, what do call it? Last move is going to be um, Psychic or Psyshock. Um, doesn't necessarily matter which one it is. However, since we already pre-decided that this Pokemon carries Drill Peck, uh, Mega Venusaur is not threatened by this Pokemon, which means I can freely go for Hidden Power Fire. Um, this is definitely special defensive. Uh, I can definitely state that. As, um, yeah, Drill Pack doesn't necessarily do anything towards us. And we should be able to synthesis that, because he should be forced to go for a Roost himself. Um, yeah, he withdraws that, I get that. As uh, we see, Arosis coming in again. As I go directly for Synthesis myself. Um, no reason not to. Um, it, it, is the, it is the ideal play. As um, either I go for a Slush Bomb here, or I predict him to uh, go for Relief, Rec, Reflect Hive again. Um, I definitely pushes this Pokemon away. Uh, I am not too worried. I just don't want to bait on... Uh... The thing is here, if it's Hidden Power of Fire and Psychic, that means that also Kamo can set up against it. So as I stated before, not necessarily too worried. And of course, Destroyer actually is a Pokemon I believe can set up if I gain that minus one, which I think is so important. Um, I gotta do the same play again. Uh, I'm not too fond of it. Um, but the thing is here, he either go for Electric type directly or Roost. I just want to see where he had Dragon Pulse or Psychic, as I'm pretty sure we're going to see him go to the Reflect type again. Uh, goes for Psychic, that's good. So not Psyshock. Psychic. And we can take another one of those. He's definitely going to switch out. There's no reason for me not going for Moonblast again. I don't believe Skarmory can take two Moonblasts from a modest um, Gardevoir, and we definitely have speediest Pokemon, so his best switching would be, I think, Ambipom to sack it, or anything to be sacked, basically, because I don't believe Skarmory is that. As JJG come in, so he has, yeah, he's definitely sacking that. Um, so, Gardevoir kills Ambipom. Gardevoir, KO. Since we still have Healing Wish, I'm not too fond of actually sacking this Pokemon. Um, goes to Darude. I do want the damage on this guy though, however. Well, taking a gamble here. I need to go to Venusaur. I think that's my best play. He has to go for a Leaf Storm, then basically whether or not I can survive a hidden power of fire. Uh, Leaf Storm itself shouldn't do too much towards us. Barely moved, actually. So that's good. And Slash Punch should do alright. Um, he switches that out, alright, he's not taking that risk. Uh, go into Arosis again. And this time I feel I'm fairly checked, as uh, we need the poison here. We really did. Um, oh, that's not good.
That's definitely not good. Right, I'm sacking Thurgonal. At this point, the rocks are going to be here to be staying, as I really hope it doesn't go for a roost. Um, <laughs> no, it's a fairy game, if so. Uh, it goes directly for Psychic, so Ladias KOs. Let's see, Ladias, KO, Cryo. Actually, it didn't. Actually, it didn't, but it's going to. Um, yeah, I'm going to freeze try in case it does something weird. I definitely feel it could be thinking I'm scoffed, which I'm not, since I have never melting ice, but he's definitely considered that option. He's definitely considering that option. He know he loses it if he stays in. Huh. I didn't think about that myself. I'm faking it at this point, but uh, he doesn't know that. <laughs> oh, come on. Fall for it. No, he saw that I switched up moves. He saw that I switched up moves. Rapid spin, recover. He's seen all that. So, he, I think he considered whether or not I'm speed enough to outspeed him. But I'm modest, I'm very slow. The best way of checking that is actually by going for a possible roost. Though... Or he could just be hindering himself. He definitely should take into consideration that I'm not speedier. Um, but he didn't. Okay, this is good. So, Gardenia comes in. That is the Flaudius. I think the best way to put it right now is that we can actually freeze this Pokemon. Alright. Well, it was not what I was going through, but that's that's fair game. Uh, I'm going to recover. This is something I need to do. That was a tough play for him to be making. Uh, right, he switches out, goes to Cage. Alright. He should not have made that play. He should not have made that play. Thing is here though, Sludge Wave will KO me from this range, since we know it's specs. And um, Shadow Ball would be his good neutral play. And that shouldn't KO Scissor. Uh, I don't know about Focus Blast, all I know is that at this point, if I'm playing these cards right, I should be able to... Um, I should be able to do well here. Um, definitely saved a Pokemon that shouldn't have been saved. Um, really surprised by that play. I think um, I think um, I think Greg actually either he doesn't necessarily thought about that I was a bulkier set, or he's thinking I'm scarfed. But now we saw that switch moves. So maybe that keeps in harm's way. I don't know. At this point, I just really want to go for Rock Polish with my Rhyperior, because we are looking good. We are looking really solid right now. But we need a, a, we need a fair opening, which I believe we don't at the moment have. And my series of plays always going to be, at this point, um, to go for a Bullet Punch again, even though Skarmory comes in. Yeah, so Shadow Ball was the best play, no doubt. As we take that fairly alright. Um, and Bullet Punch is my play, even though Skarmory comes in. Um, because I can't risk it, basically. And I mean, I get myself back together with Roost, I'm definitely not uh, too scared of that, as uh, his only play versus me is Drill Pack. So he's Roost himself, so that's quite right. So <laughs> I'll just keep Roosting. Um, I think at this point I just want him to potentially roar me out, or whirlwind me out. Um, we haven't seen his full set, right? Uh, we've seen Ruse, Stealth Rock, no, we have seen it. His only move of attacking is actually... actually whirlwind, and we know he's special defensive and not physical. So, 
At this point, if I were him, I would go for a whirlwind here or trying to get some momentum. Uh, he went for the momentum, which is fairly alright. Um, so I just keep roosting, I guess. Um, He won't take me out though, so I have no idea what he's trying to proceed to be doing. Uh, right, he brings Nasser again. Maybe I should start scaring him with Swole Stance? I think I should. Um. Honestly, he should go for Whirlwind right now. That's that definitely be the play. Uh, there we go. Let's see. Go to Destroyer. So that works for us. But we're not as strong as we need to be. So um, I'm actually gonna go for Self Rocks. I'll lose nothing by that, and uh, I just want to see if I would speed him naturally. Uh, I think I should be. Yeah, there we go. Whirlwind again. Um, so we get Ogre Sacks out. So that's going to be very important for us. As we can easily get recovery here. Um, which it should be very aware of. Even if we decide to go for Drill Pack, we still get recovery. Uh, and basically. I think we recover more than he does damage towards us. Let's see. Oh, we were at 89. We are now at 119. So, yeah, we are doing just fine. We can easily go for Hidden Power of Fire here. Um, I think after that he could potentially be roosting. But yeah, the thing is here, there is no reason for him of not doing individual plays towards this. And, you know, eventually, one might never know, a crit might break through. And we are forced to synthesis over and over again. <laughs> Fuck. Of course that happened. Oh, dear lord. Alright, so he roosts himself. Good. Good, good, good. Here's the thing, the only way for me of actually breaking through this Pokemon, because now I need to go for fuller recovery, he's going to stall off my Synthesis turns, and that's not going to work for me. Um, he either tries to break through himself, I'm definitely feeling I should have Elite Seed here, but the best play is going to, uh, yeah, precisely Arosis, and uh, do exactly what he did before. Um, at this point, I'm considering... Um, because I have two options, uh, both which I believe are fine, but um, he's going to definitely roost here, even if it does decide to attack me, he's going to take out my Pokemon, which is going to be great. But I'm not, I don't want to take a Psychic, uh, I definitely want to take that. Uh, Hidden Power Fire should be very, very devastating towards us. Take a sidekick, nor do I want to take a hidden part of fire. No, I'm actually gonna go for the sludge bomb here. I have to go for the hacks as we see recover. Guess that's better than roost. <laughs> Come on, get the poison. I really don't want to bag on stuff like that, but those 30% are important if they connect, that is. Um, right, that didn't happen. So now we need to side play. I'm gonna side play Fiasmo. Um, I mean, I have no real use of. Um, no, I need Venusaur as much as I can since it actually checks Superior. Uh, we only see Leaf Storm from it. There we go. Gonna write that down. As I'm now sacking <laughs> a Pokemon I don't wanna sack, but at this point, what can I do? Um, I'm actually, I don't think Psychic again will KO me, which is going to be very interesting. Oh, we do get KO'd, fair enough. And I already have written down that it knocked me out, so, nice. Um, now we're gonna bring Alyssa. 
were probably one of the last switching it will do. Um, oh, we have one Stealth Rock switching left in us. I still need to go for Moonblast. I, I won't like try to maneuver anything else here. Next time I sack play, I'm going to try to capitalize on setting up with something. However, um, my best possible sack play would actually be here to switch into Kamo next time I get the opportunity of pulling something like that off. However, I won't risk a hidden power fire here versus this Pokemon because I will be locked in with a Pokemon that potentially can KO me. Um, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want to do that. Um, really surprised to see Psychic though. Um, hidden Power psych or Psychic Hidden Power works fine. But, uh, you know, we're getting to a very, very long game. What is that? Do you believe it's played for 30 minutes? And we only KO'd each other's Pokemon once. Uh, one of each Pokemon. We both need a real breakthrough. Uh, which I potentially feel is really scary. Hmm. He's considering his options. Uh, he do realize that I'm scarfed, I'm sure. Yeah, he switches out. I think Nasser the Skarmory is the... No. Gardenia is going to be sacked. Fair enough, actually. I guess that's what it does to a man. Right, Florius is no longer an obstacle. Guard War KO. Alright, I was gonna say back to Drill Pack, but yeah, I guess. Suspectively, it kinda is that, isn't it? Um, it probably knows so I'm not gonna sack this Pokemon. So, what I'm going to do is go to Desert Troya, um, and I'm gonna go for a Sword Stance, hoping he does something weird. Um, goes for Whirlwind, fair enough, as I really don't wanna have my Guard War out. Get Ogre Sacks out, which I feel is vastly inferior. Going to go for Hidden Power Fire. No reason not to. And then switch in Desert Troy again. On the Roost. Damn, I really need a crit. Like, no joke. This Pokemon is walling me so hard. I really hope it tries to go for a KO here. And that's my play. And then second Guard War and recovering Venusaur the best way I can. But yeah, at this point I just really, really hope it doesn't go for Roost. Oh dear god, of course you do. Alright, this is one of those really, really unfortunate slow games. I need to go for a Stone Age then. Somewhere down the line, I really hope that his whirling plays aren't his only plays, because I need an opening with a Pokemon that can inherently ruin him. Stone Age does. Definitely not enough. Um, let's see what comes in. Thenamax. So definitely not the ideal mon. So going over sword stands, I think. I'm getting kind of um, like I need an opening and I I don't get it basically. I know I won. We won this Pokemon, no doubt, but it's about getting there too. Thanos. All right. Alright, gonna Dragon Dance. I think, I hope it goes with Drill Pack. I really hope it does. He actually withdraws to Cage, I see. 
as we get the Dragon Dance off. And I really, really, really hope that what we was checking out before was that he was um, a spec set. I really need that. So he does it a modest, weirdish set. I can't deal with that. Um, all right, put you out speed. Gengar gets knocked out by Kamo. Good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. So next in is Nasser. And I think that Pokemon is now in range of close combat. So we're going to go directly for that. No need reason not to actually. Ooh, there we go. Opening, finally. Come out. Oh. And there's the thing. If Serpira is Scarfed, it's not going to be able to KO Venusaur. Oh god, come on. We need this. We really need this. But at the time being, it was all about breaking Skarmory. And we don't know whether or not the game is over already. It could very well be over. I really don't know why actually... Yeah, I think I was hoping that I was uh, the Fire Blast set. I was going to Sack Play to basically get in Latias. That's my only, only way of seeing why I would make that play. However, we are we have to go for close combat here, even if it's scarfed. I mean, that's that's what it be basically what it becomes eventually. So um, I think I think it's worth the risk. Even though, like I said, I'm pretty sure I won't KO because Serpira is very, very, very naturally bulky. And uh, that's something we gotta deal with. I actually don't like today. Oh, do out speed. That's good. Do we KO? Oh, we do. We do. We do. Come on. Uh, Alright, that's, that's GG. That's what it boils down to. Holy fucking shit. That, I'm actually, I'm very happy with this. It actually works. I mean, it sounds like I didn't have a plan for this, but basically, it boils down to which one of his Pokemon was potentially scarfed. And the way I look at it, none of them were. So, yeah, we freaking scored a win. I am very happy with this. I am very happy. Alright, slow formula, Greg. Really, really GG. Um, I definitely believe that that play with Gengar and letting me set up Dragon Dance was the one that was basically opened up the game for me to make me win. Had you not done that, I would not have won this game. This Skarmory could potentially get... could stall me out, is what I'm trying to say, through and through. So, uh, if you have Kip Whirlwind in there, that would have been the opening I did not need. I was baiting for you to Drill Peck or Roost. No matter how what you would have done that, both of those plays would have been... I guess you should say, very, very fair. I'm really glad you didn't. But at the same time, you know, I, I cut my chances here, and uh, I think you had the better bulkier aspect here. And um, just like me, you really just got restless of the stalemate that, was, that we created against one another. And that opening was, in my opinion, probably just that somebody of, of us needed to wrap and uh, you took the chance of actually trying to get an opening with second Gengar, which was the tougher play to make, in my opinion. But I definitely was expecting that Pokemon to be special, and uh, for that very reason, I think it's extremely fair play. Just unfortunately, it went down like that. So, for everyone who's watching, thank you for doing just so. I really hope you enjoyed this game. Um, really, really like doing live, even though... I couldn't have a webcam this time, expect that to be included in the future when my PC don't act up. Just saying. So, yeah guys, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, the Valhalla Pokemon League has started, and the Scandinavian Stoutlands are leading 1-0 with a 5-0 record. That's pretty cocky. Though, very lucky. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, take care.